All right, it's um, <clears throat> 11.51, 12, 11, 2012. Tukum, Australia. Uh, what I've been doing here, and I'll just give you some of the calculations because we have a very important event coming up. Let's see if we can make a bit of a bit of sense of that. Then I'll upload. Uh, once I've explained what I'm doing, I'll go back and upload, and uh, we can run them side by side. Right, so the calculation. What it's basically saying is that the uh, the moon is out by 9,919 kilometres on. Uh, Today, so it could be out uh, considerably more by the uh, 14th when the solar eclipse occurs. Um, the actual location of the solar eclipse has also changed. Um, the Earth is further from the Sun by um, 3966 kilometres. So I do the usual thing. Um, go to your uh, satanic concordance. Type it in. Well, just quickly, up away, very much further away. So we're actually cooling down in that regard. <coughs> See what happens when you, as far as I'm concerned, once I see a number like 3966, well, there's too many um, uh, various ways of reading this. System. I do it at seven at a time. So I am scanning seven um, revelations of the end time, what's going to happen, whether it be physically or whether it be uh, stars or whether it be. So it's a Lord of Hosts, that's what it's all about. <coughs> And uh, 3966 is the patriarch, the progenitor from uh, 757 and 3965. Lineage. Family. First in political rank, rail, reign and rule over. So that's what I did. So that's what I calculated uh, by using the old home planet, which doesn't uh, download new information from the internet. Uh, I've got the Canadian program Starry Night, the pirate version, because uh, you can't afford to buy it, I've got no money. And uh, all your smartest people should be given these things for free. I mean, for fuck's sake, wake up. All right, so that's Starry Night. I've got Home Planet, which doesn't go on the internet. And then I've got the internet search itself and um, concluding it rounds out to 3966 kilometres further away. Hello? Yeah? Oh, how you going, mate? Good, good, no worries. Now, uh, we go use a bit of money, do we? All right. No, now, oh, by the way, when I, when I sent you down the money, uh, I was just yapping about it the other day, too. How much do I owe you? 1200 or something? <laughs> okay. Uh, just after the solar eclipse, I'd say. Yeah, there's one coming up on the 14th. No, I, I, what I do is I get... What? Yeah, actually I said to pay it. I said to Ash uh, I said pay it. And um, she said, right. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, now um, the other one, you, you know how I've got it all... Well, on that, it's got all these bits and pieces on the right-hand side of the second drawing. I'd rather drop all those bits and pieces off and get two cut of the actual design.
Yeah, no worries. Look, I'll uh, talk. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, I'll uh, I uh, watch these down the face down the uh, road right now, and when she gets back, I'll get her to uh, take care of it. No worries, mate. Bye bye. Okay, now. Yeah. This is a laser company where you can get the copies of the uh, magnetic motor. It's AC laser, that was Baz. Uh, if there's, there's a, a set ready to go right now of the original designs. If anyone wants it, they can contact Baz at AC laser and uh, say that they will pay for it and um, then take care of the shipping. So these, uh, the larger one is a, he was talking about, which I haven't had to cut yet, because I haven't paid the other bill yet. Uh, that is about now the seven or eight hundred dollars on top of that. So you're looking at about three grand or something like that. There you got the original. Ordered. Ready to be delivered. Original magnetic motor. Ready to go. Alright, now I'll go on with this bit further. What I did, I got um, Starry Night program going, which I'll look at it now. Okay, and with that, um, it gives you the distance to the sun and shows the solar eclipse. Um, well, the solar eclipse is out by um, a couple of hundred miles. Because it was at uh, 942 miles. So what we have then is another program Can we find that? That one I just had on. It's also about to flip on, bloody thing. No one. Alright, what you can do here is uh, you click on the earth and uh, you write these numbers down, which I've done. Right. So you can measure from a sphere to another sphere. So there's Venus, one, three, two. Okay. And you've got Mercury. So as this ticks by, I've had this running now, as it ticks by in time, you can set the exact moment of the solar eclipse. Then you add all these numbers up. So the ones I did here at that time when I did it was those numbers there: the six nine, the one three three, the two one two, and the uh, four one two. Then you go to Jupiter, and the distance to Jupiter is four one two. Right. 
So we've got a 0.69 to Mercury, a 1.33 to Venus, a 2.1 to Mars. The total is 4.12. Then the distance to Jupiter is 4.12. Now Jupiter is the five planet farther and is um, equal to the distance to the Earth, these combined add up to that number for Jupiter. All right, now I'll continue with the next. Oh, that's probably easier to do with this. I've got I've got two of these capture things, and uh, the other one I can never find it. Like I'll put it on the desktop. The ages come in the back door and move it. Or they'll take the whole program and move it. You can't find it in these programs, do Every day. <laughs> 